Hey everyone, this is Joe. Thanks for coming back for another video. In this video, we're going to show you how to mount an external battery on the Jetson Bolt Pro. What I've done is I've added a cantilever style bike rack. It mounts with a quick disconnect here. This style of bike rack has an adjustable platform that you can slide in and out. So you can adjust this uh, for your needs. So for the time being we're just going to leave this loose. Uh, one thing you're going to have to do is take off uh, the rear ref reflector from the seat post because this will interfere with the bike rack. So let's just go ahead and move that. What you can do is get yourself another reflector and put it on the rear of the bike rack. What you're going to need to mount an external battery to the Jetson is you're going to need your battery, you're going to need a piece of foam, you're going to tape that to the battery. You want to cushion that battery as you're going over pumps. We have some wires and connectors here. I'm going to put everything down in the description on what you need. We're going to show you how to mount this external battery. Now what I've done already is I pulled the cover off I've cut the zip tie from the wire harness up front and I've disconnected the XT60 connector from the controller to the battery. Very easy. You can uh, watch an earlier video I did. I'll put that uh, link in the description or at, in the video so you can check that out. Now let's go ahead and talk about what we have to do to mount this external battery and wire it in to the existing battery on the Jetson. What we're going to do is take this, this is a Y connector, has XT60, it has a XT60 connectors, it has a male connector at one end and then it Y's out into two female XT60 connectors. So what we can do is we can wire this into the battery and what this is is a parallel connector. What a parallel connector does, this connector allows you to wire two batteries in parallel which will give you 36 volts, a combination of the amp hours between the standard battery and the battery that you purchase to externally mount to the bike rack. So we're not increasing the voltage but we are increasing the amp hour range by adding another battery. Let's take a closer look at the wires coming from the controller and the battery. As you see here, the yellow portion of the XT60 connector, and again XT60 connectors allow you to wire in connectors and they only go one way to prevent you from damaging your battery. The flat portion of the connector is connected to the red wire or positive wire. The black wire or negative wire is connected to the round side of the connector. So it only goes one way. The other connector going to your controller is also an XT60 connector and it's the male side. So what we want to do is we want to take our Y parallel cable and we want to plug the female side into the connector that goes to the controller. Again, it only goes one way to protect your battery. Then what we want to do is find the other connector, which is the yellow. We want to take one lead of the parallel Y cable and we want to connect it into the battery that is mounted inside the cover of the Jetson. Okay, so now what we have is we have one wire connected or one connector connected to the battery and then we have the other connector which we can run back to the battery that we're going to mount on the bike rack. Let's take a look at the external battery that we're going to mount. It has a charge cable and it has your positive and negative leads coming from the battery 
going to what is referred to as a Dean's connector. And if you look really closely, one lead or pin on this connector is horizontal and the other connector is vertical. This also prevents hitching the connector the wrong way. If you notice the the horizontal connector is connected to the positive. In order to make the connection between a Dean's connector and an XT60 connector they make an adapter and again I'll put all the hardware that you're going to need in the description. So what this connector is going to allow us to do is connect the Dean's connector to the battery and now we have a female connector to the battery that we can now tie in to the connector, the Y connector we just connected to the controller and the battery. We're also going to need some wire and I like to purchase the silicone insulated 14 gauge stranded wire. I'll again put a link of everything you need. The other two things that you're going to need are XT60 connectors, male and female end, and we're going to solder these onto the wire, and I'll show you where this wire is going to go. What I've done is temporarily put the external battery up onto the bike rack. Now, we have to make an extension cord between the Y portion of the connector that goes from the controller through the wire we're going to make to the XT60 connector on the external battery. So what we're going to do is on the other connector we need a male connector. It's going to plug in to the other end of the parallel Y connector. We're going to solder that onto a length of red and black wire and then we're going to run it to the other XT60 connector on the battery and now what we can do is we can cut a length of wire that comes in red and black or positive and negative between this connector and that connector and if you look on the rear portion of your battery case on the Jetson you'll notice there's a cutout on the actual plastic case. you also notice that there's a cutout here on the front side of the plastic cover. We're going to run the wire through this connector space here between this connector through this hole and up to the connector on the external battery. And what we're going to do is when we do that we're going to zip tie the wires to the bike rack and the seat post area and then down through this, this hole here that we can route the wires through. Another thing that you're going to need for your battery that you mount to the to the bike rack is you're going to need some type of a waterproof bag, canvas, plastic, whatever. That way you can take the battery, you can put it inside the waterproof bag, uh, again like a small canvas, a waterproof canvas bag with a zipper on it. That way when you want to charge this battery when you're not riding, you can remove the battery you can disconnect the XT60 connector, connect your charger, and then you can charge this battery. You can also charge the battery on your bike separately. So it's always a good idea. Again, I took and I cut myself a piece of rubber rubberized foam mat. I had this lying around, so I cut a short strip. We're going to take some tape and I'm going to tape the battery to the to the rubberized foam strip 
we're going to put that in our canvas bag. In this video, I'm not going to put the uh, battery in the bag. I'm just going to show you uh, with the battery sitting on the uh, bike rack. Take your set of wires from the controller and what we're going to do is we're either going to route the wires underneath the battery or on top just depending on uh, we're going to find out what the best amount of space is. We're either going to run it above or we're going to run it below. So what you want to do is you want to take some wire and you want to give yourself enough wire that will go through this connector and then give yourself a little bit of extra wire because you can always tuck it inside the bag. You will always want to have a little extra wire and then you want to run that up and size this out so it will tie in to your battery. Once we have that we can then cut the wires and then let's go ahead and reposition the camera and I'll show you how we're going to uh, solder these connectors on. So I now have my wire and I've cut it a little bit longer. Again, you always want a little bit of extra wire. You don't want the wire to pulled really taut through the case up to the bike rack. You want to always give yourself a little bit of extra slack. And that way, again, you can always tuck the extra in the bag on the bicycle rack or inside of the cover where your existing battery is. This video is getting a bit long, so we're going to end this video, and we'll create another second video. So we'll see you in the next video.